You might be fast, you might be good in the dark, but our teeth and our jaws are twice the size of yours. And when we get them into your flesh, we don't let go. You don't have your sleek coat either. But your teeth can't get through ours. Not as easy that is. And by the time you get your teeth into us, you've already got our teeth around your neck and they've already snapped five or six times. That's why you fear us, don't you? And you know we're coming. We hunt the hunters. The girls are like, football, NFL, yeah. Shut up. I'm in charge. I ain't never seen no water go out of no toilet. They're like, yeah, you'll make him president. Yeah, screw you. Oh, yeah. We're going to ban language if we want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fluoride's good for us. F you, you know. Woo, yeah, woo, he's smart, he, and they go, yeah, let me show you another one, Tin foil hat, <laughs> yeah, he showed me so-called document, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, you know how to read, fag, and those such things, reading, oh, shut up, I know a word, like, oh, look, the clouds of chemtrail, no, it's not true, it's impossible, <laughs> I saw it's Trump 2016. <laughs> Somebody said mother and father. <laughs> He's go, uh, uh. He's like, they're big guns. Don't let terrorists get boom, boom. And then Trump goes, no, I agree. No boom, boom. And then they go, nin, nin, nin. and what about big boom, boom? Take big boom, boom. Wait, boom, boom, boom. Your baby want me milkshake. O'Reilly, you send bullies to my house, I'm going to break their jaw. And if you try that with me, punk, I don't care if you're a, you know, a thug who wants to bully people. Okay? You got to be ashamed of yourself. After all the bullying Irish went through, you turned into a big, fat bully. You're a big, fat bully, scumbag. I don't like you. You understand that? Imagine taking your daughter, turn around, honey. We're going to do it. There's all these guys. <laughs> Not a world, Winston, that gets more beautiful and more technological and stronger. A world that gets uglier and stupider and more stunted. You want an image of the future, Winston? It's a boot stomping on a human face forever. Don't look at me, Winston, and see the black circles around my eyes and see how ugly and weak I am expressing myself and dying that I torture people 18 hours a day and I have a horrible life. That's the beauty of the satanic evil of the priest of power ripping apart humanity. We're here to hurt humans. We're here to suck your guts out. Understand now? Yeah. They're like demons from hell, just right on that dimensional line, just <laughs> trying to get control as fast as they can. And the Chinese communists are their most precious. They got the highest death rates, the execution vans, the giant human chimera facilities, the cows producing human milk, just hell forces. It's the most just soulless evil. Just <laughs> It's just the globalists are just, that's the big cauldron, the big command base. Prepare the weapons. Give them all the ports. Give them everything. Give them the weapons. Give them the communications. Give them the back doors. Give them the politicians. And Kissinger and them, they're going, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I mean, think of the allegory as like the, the, the golden child when the top demon goes in and gets down and meditates. And then the walls pull back and he's in hell. And he's like, what do I do, Lord? Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. This is their plan, people. These are demons. Just like the Bible says, it's basically an intergalactic invasion into this space through people. I, I'm telling you, it's what all the ancients said. It's what they warned of. It's what we're dealing with. They're demons. They're freaking interdimensional invaders, okay? I'll just say it. Make fun of me all you want on CNN or wherever, but everyone already innately knows this. These people are not freaking humans, okay? Hillary Clinton is a goddamn demon. You can go straight to fucking hell. Where if your 12-year-old wants to have their genitals cut off without parental consent because the teacher convinced them to, in comes the hatchet and it's taxpayer paid for. This is the rebellion of the pedophiles. They say they want to be able to pick your 10-year-old up out of the back of your yard and take him to some meth-infested uh, trailer and do God knows what to him. And you know what? They will. But just remember, when you look at those leaders on TV, the Republican and Democratic leadership, remember, they want to rape everything you've got. Because the name of the game is shitting on prosperity and shitting on freedom and shitting on free will and shitting on renaissance. It's about fat.
pedophiles and degenerate rapists and sex slavers like the Saudi Arabians. That's who they are. The Saudi Arabian leadership just dominating everyone with political correctness where you roll over. It's all these PBPs, pot belly pedophiles that have their way with you and your family. And Michelle's a tranny. She kind of does look like one. And I'm like, hey, you're not a dumbass. Look, the enemy says they're doing this. They're taking this over, blah, blah, blah. And they just go, the girl is like, ooh, da, ooh, football, NFL, yeah. But we give money to LGBT, so it's okay that we have suicide nets and forced abortion and 17-hour work days. And the Foxconn workers' children live in metal containers. It's all right because... Al Gore's on the board and he talks with a lisp. And it's all right, because he acts effeminate and Nelly. But not behind closed doors. No, no, no. That's not how Al talks behind closed doors. See, it's all a fraud. And I know you know that, but we have to have the understanding of the complete collapse of it in our minds ourselves. And disdain it, dislike it. Hate it, not go, ooh, you were on Fox and CNN and MSNBC today, Alex. <gasps> ooh, I saw you in some movie. Did you know you're in this movie? No, I don't care. Are we going to let you out? I'm afraid not. <laughs> because I've been offered all these big Hollywood films in Hollywood. I've been offered, like, major supporting roles in big movies that came out. I've been offered, like, a million dollars for a role. Uh, and that, is, that sounds like a lot, folks. It's not when you're at this level because I had to fund this whole operation. I've been paid $800,000 in a year once for just a voiceover I did. But uh, most people would like bend over backwards being Hollywood. I actually, one of the finest things that I see is like a, is something I own is the fact that I, I don't even respond to emails about big movies now. I just piss on them. And, and like my, I'm serious. One of my finest enjoyments is all these roles I've just turned down and they've almost stopped doing it. And the roles got bigger and bigger. And I just said, you know what? I don't want your Hollywood roles. Not from, not from a link letter. But, I mean, pissing on Hollywood is a luxury. I got to be honest with you. I mean, I can say, here's the weapon plan. And they'll go, I don't care. We are ugly and deserve to die. Humans are evil. And, at the end of the and the ones you get through that actually see it, they go, that's right. And we are going to kill everybody. I want to kill my children. I want to be ugly. They're like, wow, boy, you really are liberal, aren't you? They're all like that. I'm ugly and I stink and I love Satan. <laughs> And I want everyone in the control room right now to, re to recognize that I officially am a British Springer Spaniel. And not just that. I'm a black Springer Spaniel and I'm royal. And I belong to the Queen of England. Well, she belongs to me. And everyone now must recognize that I am a dog, in fact, that can speak. And I want to be genetically altered beyond a sex change, to be made a female dog named Hillary Clinton. Now, who wishes to kneel before me and accept that I am, in fact, a black-eared dog? Um, see, mm -hmm. Thunder, Thunder, mm -hmm. Thunder Thunt, I think I can say that. Cunder Thunt, 69. Cunder Thunt. Says, Cunder Thunt was a powerful, immortal, raised on a foreign star. He was able to lift entire planets with a single arm. Now he'd return to Earth with Cybertron to prepare for the final battle. The millennials and like the Trigley Puffs and these socially entitled little anti-free speech hate mongers cover the waterfront, Tim. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, the... the Whatever, the, whatever this disease is right now that you can go to college and graduate with a degree in feminism and that you think you're going to come into the workforce and be a productive member of society, but then you're going to complain that you can't get a really j good job. So you're going to vote for Bernie Sanders and think that you're going to give it. Listen, I work like 18 hours a day so I can provide for my family. That's how it's supposed to work. I fall into bed tired. So stop being entitled little bitches and go to work. Stop wasting your time figuring out what oil you're going to put in your beard if you're wearing the right plaid shirt. Do work. Uh -huh. Go to work. Work. Go. Scoot. Hey, mister. How you doing here in Mayberry? Can I change oil for you, Mr. Gucciardi? <laughs> you know, what's interesting. I heard Obamacare is free. I like socialism and hey, the, it is. And, and the yeah. dictatorship of the proletariat. I'm going to have your ass thrown to prison. The centipede is a nimble navigator. It has two hollow fangs to inject venom. It is a predator.
That's pretty good. Is that listen to this. It's going to be a remix now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now take you live to Austin, Texas, where the final defense of humanity is eating fried chicken with a beautiful goddess dressed in green, Buckley Hammond dressed in cream, and Alex Jones dressed in a checkered blue suit with hair that looks like it's a toupee, but it isn't. What does it mean on Reddit? What does it mean with the crew working late at night? What does it mean in the future? She's a goddess! She's saving her! Oh, she's prison right here! Damn it! She needs to be in prison now! This shark's evil! No! 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 Get away from me, racist! She's God! He's on loose! He's on loose! He'll never stop me! Racist! Absolutely high as a kite off of it! <laughs> Out is out, Schnabel warns of single market access in event of Brexit. We will not allow you to trade in our country if you leave. We are an unelected bureaucracy. You do not vote to enter. And if you try to leave, we will shut off your trade. We are in control. Now, you will submit and take the vaccines. Then you will feel much better. <laughs> Just take the shots and eat the food and shut your mouth and die. This is our world now. Lay down and die. I, in fact, I was on my treadmill the other day, and it was like featured YouTube, Joe Rogan, 200,000 views one day ago. Here, let's watch it. And it was some super intellectual going, Trump is dumb. Trump lies. And then we go, oh, yes, so dumb. Oh. And I was like, where's the proof? Where's the lies? I mean, you know, and it's like, oh, the Washington Post said I was a liar. whoop de freaking do man. Oh, my God, Joe Rogan's going to laugh at me. Wow, I'm going to roll over in a fetal position and piss all over myself. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, oh, my God, Alex Jones says that the, your, 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 your cable boxes are watching you or your iPhone's watching you. That was declassified 18 years ago when I broke it about smartphones when they first came out. Now it's all admitted. The, the FBI director covers his, his, his you got a little window on yours. Yeah. They cover the little camera up. I mean, it's like. Jones claims you need oxygen in space. He's insane. <laughs> <laughs> the dean laughed at me. Wow. Well, wow. Oh, my God. The dean called me in. Oh, my God. The dean heard you're writing essays about Alex Jones. How are you feeling, Bobby? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 we're not too pleased with you. We're running a Kool-Aid drinking cult of cyanide. <laughs> you know, I mean, who cares? I'm like Darth Sidious and he's Darth. And I'm just like, do what must be done, Lord Vader. Show no mercy. <laughs> and, and of course, George Will, in his last article in the um, Washington Post saying, we are sovereign, your vote doesn't count. You are nobody. That's what he says. Here, let me say it in, uh, in uh, white shoe boy talk, what he actually said. A convention sovereign duty, that's their sovereignty. A convention, that's the party. I'm, I'm deciphering. This little arrogant piece of filth thinks we don't understand this. It's meant to sound fancy to you, so you just shut up and go along with it, like the queen with a stupid hat on. A convention sovereign duty is to choose a plausible nominee who has a reasonable chance to win, not to passively affirm uh, the will of a mere plurality of voters recorded episodically in a protected process. So you come up and mug somebody and knock their teeth out and you go, and then I went for your mandibles and massaged them for the lovingness that you would not ever have to deal with them and brush them. I took them from your mouth in a loving flurry. No, you knock your teeth out with a frickin' ball-peen hammer, you little bastard. Of the disgusting, narcissistic selfie. If I see one more man or one more woman making duck lips, I'm going to pull what's left of my hair out. It's this self-satisfied, I'm smart, I'm cool. Here, here. Where, where? Men and women go. And it's like, I'm cool. And they take a picture of themselves. What in Hades is going on? Here's how it works. If a trooper suspects you may have money tied to some type of crime. Oh, this is the trooper. Who needs a judge? Who needs a jury? Who needs a grand jury? Who needs an indictment? Who needs a DA? Here's how it works. 
See how News 9 reports it like it's fun? Here's how it works. You stick your head in the guillotine, they pull the switch, and a big giant razor blade falls out and chops your heads off. It's so much fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Zuckerberg came out on Friday in the New York Times, and it said, Zuckerberg covers up his webcam. That was the headline. You should, too. <gasps> About 19, 20 years after I pioneered it and have been made fun of at least 18 years ago on BBC documentaries. Alex, John Ronson asks, why is your webcam covered? You think say watching you do, say? Oh, the little poly wall think he got a little, little bit of a problem, huh? Oh, you think little green man won't get you too, huh? And werewolves as well. He once asked me, he goes, do you believe in werewolves? Because we're driving through this fog area, and I go, no, I just said it looks like where a werewolf would live. Man, look at that, like six foot thick. You afraid of the you afraid of the werewolves? And I said, uh, Yeah, I'm real afraid of the werewolves. We actually put it in this book that I'm afraid of werewolves. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. I actually like John Ronson. We should get him back up on the show sometime. You afraid of the werewolves, Alex? He didn't really speak with that Oliver Twist Cockney accent, but it's fun to talk like that, isn't it? But there's something intellectual about Almost the calm, lazy eyes just of, a, of the left. We don't want to arrest you unless you deny global warming. Oh, no one really wants to arrest you. Oh, actually, we do now. That's liberal. Do some social justice warrior deal where we talk about our wee-wees all day. The New World Order can go to hell. Well, the I wish the new order would just built. kill themselves. You people are the disease. You're the problem. You want us to die? You die. You die. I don't even want to kill you, but you know what? You want to kill us? You know where this is going, don't you? Uh, so you can really show you're in the in club. You had to speak with a slight British accent, but that's that's what have mutated into a Thurston Thurston Howell the third. Oh, Buffy, <laughs> lovey, <laughs> would you like to buy some mining stock, Gilligan? Perhaps some derivatives. <laughs> yeah, let me show you that I can talk like them. Yeah, let me let me talk just like he does. He just goes. They're against. They're, they're just against civilization and, and economics. We're, we're speaking of economics here. Something you little people don't know. Uh, but uh, let me continue here. I'll be intellectual today and speak in this vernacular for you. How does that sound? Ah, continuing. Citing the potential for a Trump to split the Republican Party, even if he does lose, and increasing unpopularity of France's socialist government, Traub argues, oh, another billionaire for socialism, uh, that establishment of political parties in major Western countries must combine forces to keep out the nationalists. Here is a few clips of Glenn Beck talking about me in the last few months, the things he's been saying. Uh, just, just, just go to some of the clips. Here. You know, Alex Jones, you piece of garbage. I don't know what your deal is. I really don't know, and I don't care. But if you if if you actually cared about the things you were talking about, mm -hmm. you would you would actually use your brain and start to find different ways than just going to your kook friends in your basement. What you would do is you would actually say with some credibility, "This is true," and these are the ways that we can. Right, that's enough. I mean, he didn't even say what I'm lying about. It's just that I'm in a, there are no basements in Texas, bud. Let's go to the next clip. Let's go out to break with he this one. He on um, a really, um, a guy that we don't talk about very often because he's so insignificant and we don't really care. Um, uh, but he is, he is a... He's also psycho. Yeah, he's... <laughs> can, we, can we just say what it is? The I think guy he is... Well, is psycho. He can see a lot of things that other people can't see. <laughs> like a conspiracy it's... around... Like Every a couple of Nellies sitting on TV. Eyes. We're going to come and see that. <laughs> and, and hey, uh, we're going to go to break and we're going to come back and come back to these cream puffs. They just don't get that they're out in the open going, I'm wearing a uh, sweater tied around my neck like I'm Thurston Howell and sitting here in a mock oval office on a power trip bragging about how I've got the guy that does Oreos and American Idol and Disney. Everyone runs from American Idol and Oreos in your audience. They're political. They're patriots. They're involved. They're awake. They don't want to see you ferrying around, taking your acting lessons and fake crying with all your boyfriends around you, telling us about how you hired someone 
from mainstream TV. Oh, we're so impressed. Oh, tell us, did you talk to Jay-Z? Oh, oh, do you know someone in Hollywood? <laughs> and then you sit over there and you try to act like you're the big mothership and everyone wants what you've got. No, they don't want what you got. And you thought you'd be able to steal the election from the people, regardless of who Trump is. It doesn't matter. You thought you'd sit there and tell people to fast. What is it about these psychopaths that they want to be cult leaders and have fawning groups following them around as God? What is it? And psychopaths always wear little nerdly, non-threatening outfits. They always act real wimpy because they're like raging goblins behind the scenes. But but they want to act real, because uh, uh, the prey wants to creep up on you, see? They're real, oh, hi, I'm real, oh, I'm Glenn Beck, I'm creeping up, oh, how you doing? <laughs> see? I'm wearing a little non-threatening outfit. I'm kind of nellying around. That's all his cover, folks. So let's hear from this Nelly, this candy Candy pants right now. Here he is. But here's what happens. Because Donald Trump. Hey, pause is and rewind the... that. You know, I actually have a really great voice, but instead I just kind of <laughs> honk like a goose because I'm I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm pouring it all out. I I I have trouble breathing right now. I'm so upset. <sighs> and a lot of times it's almost unlistenable. I get it. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to hear my voice, I consider and yeah, we could really talk about this right now with each other and discuss the whole state of the world and Look at different articles and talk about a Pew survey that shows 57% say America first. Why isn't it higher? Why is it only 57% that aren't proud to say it's okay to say your country's first? Who's going to stand up for you if it isn't your country? You organize a system based on what's better for the people because outside countries will come in and take you over. Hi, it's Alex Jones here. And I want to just sit back real relaxed in a living room to try to put you to sleep here and just listen to me. Everything's going to be all right. I'm really into hypnotism. I've really taken classes on that. He admits he has. To just hear my priest, God says, join me. Uh, uh, uh. Let's, let's listen to him. Sitting back with all the mics perfectly tuned. Everything angulated with him creeping up to the microphone, creeping up like a vampire, like Nosferatu. She's in her nightgown. He's untying the lace. Uh, 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 I mean, you know, just whew. predator, predator. Dun, 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 I mean, alert, 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 alert. He's got like a sheep's outfit on. He's a little skinny, ugly wolf, yellow eyes. <laughs> Like, shut up, don't do that. Okay. Oh, hi, sheep. Mind if I put my mouth around your neck to love you a bit? Here, let's go to the failed little wolfie. <laughs> let's go to him. Here it is. But here's what happens. Oh, no, because stop. I'll back it up again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing it. Here's what happens. Here's what happens when you love your voice. Here, let me talk like him. Infowars.com. Exclusive. Conch. Soros insiders attempt to take over Trump campaign. Establishment in ditch effort to co-op New York billionaire. It's all about he's going to tell you what happens. He's going to tell you the reality. Oh, 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 he's always in the hospital. Feel sorry for me. Buy my products. I'm in the hospital. Uh, I'm really skiing, but I'm in the hospital. Uh, I'm wearing a little, little, new little sweater. A new little sweater with a smiley face. Get in my ice cream truck. Oh, hi, little girl. I've got free ice cream and said, oh, mommy said don't. What about the little puppy? Ever seen a Chewini? My name's Glenn Beck. Do you know about what happened to my mommy? Let's go ahead and go back to Glenn Beck. But here's what happens. Oh, here's because what happens. Donald I'll Trump back him up again. I'm sorry. Here's what happens. Now, now, here's what, here's what, here's what happens. Let me, t her, her, look, let's go back to him. Here it is. But here's what happens. Because Donald Trump is the GOP candidate, and I believe Hillary Clinton is going to win because of this, you will never 
elect another GOP person to high office ever again. This was his mission. Because what's going to happen is you are now going to have Hillary Clinton legalize as many voters as you can. Mm -hmm. The GOP is going to be completely racist, whether it's true or not, because of Donald Trump. You will never have another Republican president ever again. All right, let me say this to him and his whole fake authoritarian garbage. Let me be totally insincere and try to be like an actor and just say, here's what's going to happen to you, Glenn Beck. Talk radio is moving into its final phases in the old format, and you are universally reviled by everyone you work with because what a nasty, narcissist, messiah complex person you are. And you're going to accelerate towards bankruptcy. And the Republican Party, run by neocon, warmongering, Rockefeller Republicans, who've been hijacking the party for the social engineers, are going to be run out of the party. And you better hope you don't push too far, and many of you end up getting arrested for treason. And we're going to expose your globalist plan with China and others that have sold out our industrial base. And we're going to restore this republic and defeat the social justice warriors and the sickening engineers that hope to bring this country down. And we're going to secure our borders. We're going to deport the criminal illegals and promote good, legal, honest immigration and promote Americana once again. And we're going to bring back the 1950s culture of family, but in a modern, inclusive way for everyone. And we're going to be Americana 1776 worldwide. And the reign of globalist manipulating and controlling the two-party duopoly is over. And you are over. And you are discredited. And you're circling the toilet bowl. And it's well known that you've announced you want to move to Israel or something to claim you're a messiah. Because even though you have a much smaller audience, you can then milk millions out of each family that's there, hundreds of thousands, and that basically then maybe you'll tell them all to wear Nike tennis shoes, drink barbiturates and vodka, and fly off to Hale Bop. Glenn Beck, your next stop is Hale Bop Cult, filth. You little rat, you've been destroyed. You destroyed yourself. Just like a face in the crowd, you disingenuous traitor to humanity, you piece of crap, you rat filth, is because... The gun owners that were interviewed were smart enough with their smartphones to use the little tech systems against Big Brother and record her knowing she'd set them up. And guess what? She did. They're using old tactics in a new war. <laughs> and the dinosaurs are dropping faster and faster. And that just warms my little heart. Just...